Uh, Amitabh Kant just joining us uh, live on this. So I, I'll just come back and talk to you again, but let me just go across to uh, Amitabh Kant because, uh, you know, as Sherpa, Mr. Kant, thank you so much for joining us on this. As Sherpa for G20, this is an important budget. Have you got enough to talk to the rest of the world about, uh, Mr. Kant, and to tell them why you think India is going to continue to be the brightest space on the global economic map? So, Vikram, I really think that this is a budget for a new India. Uh, it's a budget for a new India because uh, uh, the most important thing is that this is going to be uh, a very major catalyst for uh, infrastructure growth, which is very, very important because it, that is that has huge multiplier impact. So if you're putting uh, close to about uh, uh, you know, 10 lakh crores and three years running, you are increasing it. That's a very, very uh, major driver. Secondly, uh, in my view, uh, this budget will be a major driver of the consumption story of India, which was very important because uh, uh, on the direct tax side, the budget does several things which will put a lot of resources into the hands of the consumers and the consumers are going to spend and that will going to create a virtuous cycle of growth, which will enable, uh, you know, uh, expenditure in the economy to take place. Uh, this is uh, this was very necessary to uh, take capacity utilization up in, uh, in the economy. Uh, thirdly, I think uh, what is very important is that uh, this roadmap from 6.4 to 5.9 this year and announcing that in the, over a medium term period, you will bring the fiscal deficit down to 4.5. It's important because uh, the this will bring in private sector investment. This will enable private sector to borrow and invest in the economy. And that is important because if you look at the period from uh, 2000 to 2010, private sector investment was at a rates of about 25 to 30%. And that is what needs to be brought back. That is really the key. Uh, fourth thing in this budget I find really remarkable is uh, that it pushes for digitization across the economy, across every single sector. Uh, it is a very, very tech driven uh, budget. It focuses on uh, three artificial intelligence uh, centers at different IITs. It pushes for 100 labs for 5G. It pushes for ease of doing business. And uh, the other big story is a, its massive focus on green growth in terms of battery storage, uh, pump storage. It lays huge emphasis. It lays uh, focus on uh, energy transition. And if you, if India goes uh, digital, if India goes green, uh, India will be uh, the first economy in the world which will industrialize without carbonizing. And that is really the big story. So to my mind, this is an amazing budget. Uh, and this is a budget uh, looking at the future. This budget really looks at how to push the trajectory of growth this budget also looks very strongly at uh, the social sectors. It uh, looks at social sectors like uh, it focuses on technology in agriculture. It looks at 500 aspirational blocks and it makes a major dent in those areas. But one major area where the budget makes a huge impact is urbanization, which to my mind is critical because uh, municipal bonds right. allowing Mr. cities Khan? to use their resources. All these are critical. Mr. Khan, you just spoke about the social sector. Now, it's interesting where this is in many ways the last budget before uh, the, the election next year. It, the focus seems to be more on what industry would have wanted. The focus is a lot on infrastructure spending, encouraging growth, and not so much in areas like Enrega and other things, which would be called more the social schemes. Uh, is, does that mean that it's really a bet on growth that the government is, is uh, making? No, the budget does a great job of uh, focusing on infrastructure. It focuses on growth, but it also takes care of uh, agriculture. If 42% of your economy is, uh, of the working population is in agriculture, 
So it looks at that sector very strongly. It looks at, uh, uh, you know, if you look at the 100 critical transport infrastructure projects, for instance, the last mile connectivity projects, a lot of them are in uh, semi-urban areas, tier two, tier three cities. And uh, when you say states and cities will be encouraged to undertake urban planning reforms and actions to transform our cities, a lot of migration is taking place in these cities. So you are actually... Uh, what the gum, what the country needs today is taking care of the urban poor as well, which is very importantly spelt out. But I think there's a huge amount of focus on women development, uh, which is very well uh, required. If India is to grow today, there are more women than men in India. And therefore, if you need a huge focus on women, there's a huge focus on agriculture as well. There's a huge focus on millet. Uh, I've never seen a budget with so much of uh, uh, focus on one single crop, which is millet. So it's uh, it's uh, mind boggling. But what it uh, clearly spells out is that's looking for transformation because millets, again, the focus is because you want to reduce the use of, of water in agriculture sector. So very progressive and forward looking, I would say.